clean parts. I got a gearbox to rebuild. Instead of putting a roll pin in there, we have welded in a number eight bolt and we've welded the shaft solid on the end here as well. I don't want that to ever come loose. It should shear the pin down here if it shears something. Hopefully we won't have any more shearing at the shaft at the gear and we're gonna weld that gear to the shaft too all right we're getting set up to TIG weld this gear permanently to the shaft uh, this gearbox is basically worn out uh, you can see the gears are all chewed up But it does still work. The only thing is that I can't keep it pinned to the shaft. So, um, I don't really care what happens. If the, if the gearbox completely blows up, well, that's fine. It was blowing up already. So, wish me luck. Alright, so here goes nothing. One side done, one to go on the pin. Looks good. I don't think that's going to come out. All right, there we have it. One solid welded gearbox.
still runs nice and smooth and quiet. Yes, sir. -y. Got the ends of the pins welded up. So we want it to shear back here or at the other end of that gear, but not in the gearbox. Got that part all done. I had a another failure not of the gearbox this time but uh, the sprocket I decided to drain the the gear oil and have a look and I would say it looks pretty good and one way you can test for the presence of um, iron filings you take a magnet this is a piece of a microwave magnet and you um, run the run the magnet around, and if you see movement caused by the magnet, you know you have iron filings in the oil. But we've got no evidence of that. There's some kind of silvery particles. I think it's probably some aluminum filings that came out that didn't get rinsed out. Uh, when I clean the gearbox, but this oil looks really nice. I'm not seeing any evidence of uh, iron filings, so we're going to pop this open and have a look at the welds and see if there's anything to see. All right. I probably have to pry that open with a chisel. I even have to whack it with a hammer. Stuck together pretty good. Gotta love that Permatex Ultra Gray. So far, so good. And it did take a beating yesterday. That was some heavy snow we had to move. 
So there were some minimal filings. And I'll show you how they respond when you move a magnet over them. See that? But I'm not too alarmed. After all, there was a roll pin that had disintegrated. Several roll pins, actually. So that stuff could have been hidden in the crooks and crevices. So here's what failed. There's a weld, supposed to be a weld right there. So here's the new one. Now we're going to take the grinder to this, spin it up here on the lathe, and we're going to grind a nice bevel so we can weld it better. And we're going to knock off that black. I think that's what make the welds not stick. You have to grind that off. That's why you save your worn out angle grinder blades. So we got a nice bevel ground into there. And we'll Get her welded up. And there we are. And I put a few little tacks on the back side. Uh, there isn't much room, so I couldn't weld it solid. Hopefully that should last a few more years. Here's a good overview of the drive line on this snowblower. <clears throat> we come from the PTO, which is <clears throat> belt driven. Up into the right angle gearbox, which is a three to two ratio. Three turns of this to two turns of this. There's the sprocket we just welded. That goes up front here to the big sprocket. And I'm not sure what the ratio is there. It's a 12 tooth back here and it's probably a 40. Up front, I don't remember.